so we've got a bit of a sneak peek into the mid-season update that's coming to the game and it's kind of strange here are some of the updates that you guys should know about and one crazy update that you're not going to expect first let's talk about the legend changes revenant's getting a nerf to his ultimate we're not entirely sure what the changes will be exactly whether it's a nerf to the duration or the amount of health that his ult has but his ult is definitely getting nerfed Fuse is getting some various bug fixes to his ult, which will be nice, but the last legend change is going to shake things up a lot. Valkyrie is getting removed from the skirmisher roster and she's getting moved over to the recon legend section. I actually really like this change since I think it might make Valkyrie relevant again. This would allow her to scan for nearby teams and then you could use your ult to make smart rotations and overall I think it's a solid change. Next, let's talk about some of the weapon changes. The R99 is getting its damage drop off nerfed, meaning you'll have to be closer for it to remain effective. I think this makes sense considering it's a care package weapon right now and it's an SMG, so no complaints for me about this one. The next weapon change is really strange. As we all know, the Havoc has been a top pick for weapons for a while now. Even after the recent nerf, it's still incredibly strong and they're gonna be nerfing it again in the mid-season update. But the way that they're doing it is really weird. No changes to the damage, magazine size, or the fire rate. Instead, they will be removing the turbocharger from the loot pool completely. I felt like this was a really strange way to nerf the weapon, but with the Devo being in the care package, the turbocharger only goes on one weapon. This change would simultaneously nerf the Havoc and clean up the loot pool a little bit, so I guess I'm down for it. This last change is probably the craziest part of the mid-season update. The Akimbo Mozambique has taken over the meta. In the most recent ALGS event, the Akimbo Mozambique had the highest number of eliminations for the entire event. Most people would agree that these things need some sort of tuning if they're going to stay in the game. And with this mid-season update, they're changing nothing. That's right, absolutely nothing. At this time, we're going to be going into the second half of this season with literally no changes to these weapons. Let me know what you guys think about these updates and let me know if you're excited for the changes.